Running a business is already a full-time job. So when someone says to you, you need to learn AI, it feels like just another thing on your to-do list, right? But what if I told you that in less than 15 minutes, I could show you a simple four-step plan to give you back hours every week, automate your busy work, and finally allow you to start focusing more on building your business. So you can focus even more on growing your business without adding to your plate. Oh, and I've created a free resource for you to make this even easier. Ready to stop feeling overwhelmed and start winning? Let's go. A great place to start is by identifying some quick wins, tasks where you can save time with minimal effort. To do this, take a step back and look at your entire business process. What are the most repetitive tasks that eat up your time that could easily be automated with AI? Think about your daily or weekly routine. What are things that you do over and over again that feel like a total time sink? Here are three common examples. Creating reports or summaries, like sales reports, project updates, meeting recaps, preparing for client meetings, doing research, sending out an agenda, preparing speaking notes for yourself, or creating social media content like hashtags, captions, or even post ideas. Let's take creating reports, for example. Imagine you spent hours pulling data, looking at spreadsheets and formatting them and creating summaries. With AI, you could automate this in minutes. Here's how. Use a tool like ChatGPT or Notebook LM to analyze the data and generate a summary for you. For ChatGPT, you can copy and paste your data or key points and ask it to summarize. With Notebook LM, you can upload your documents, let it analyze them, and ask it to give you helpful insights with the click of a button. Now, AI can give you a solid draft, but you'll still want to review it and make any adjustments to make sure it matches your brand, voice, and your audience. And you'll want to check it for accuracy as well, because sometimes it makes mistakes. But instead of starting from scratch, you're at least starting from a pretty strong foundation that AI has created for you, saving you tons of time. Quick wins like this are keys to starting with AI. They're simple, they're fast, and they give you immediate results. But here's the mistake that I see people make. They try to automate everything all at once. And trust me, that's a recipe for overwhelm. Instead, pick one task to start with, like creating reports, master it, and move on to the next. Okay, so now that you've picked a task, here's the reality. If you pick the wrong tool, you could waste hours of time or just give up entirely. Stick around because I'm about to show you how to pick the perfect tool for your needs. Here's the good news. You don't need to learn every tool out there. Instead, focus on finding a small set of tools that can cover your essential needs. I'm gonna quickly talk about six tools that cover most of what small business owners need. ChatGPT or DeepSeek. These are perfect for brainstorming, for writing emails, or just answering general questions. Perplexity AI, which is great for research and finding cited, accurate answers to complex questions. Otter.ai, which is amazing for transcribing meetings and audio recordings. Notebook LM, which helps you analyze and summarize documents really quickly. And Canva Magic Write, which combines design and content creation for social media posts and graphics. Here's a quick little testimonial. My dad is also a small business owner, and I've been introducing him to these tools one by one over the past few weeks, and he's already saving tons of time. So he's super excited, and now he's hooked. The truth is that he actually wishes he jumped on these tools even sooner. So here's my actionable tip for you. Pick one tool that addresses your biggest pain point and spend 30 minutes this week testing it out. For example, if emails are your challenge, try ChatGPT or DeepSeek. If you're drowning in meetings, test otter.ai. Remember, you don't need to master all the tools all at once. Just get comfortable with one tool and then expand from there. By the end of this week, you'll already be saving time and seeing results. Now, here's something that most people don't tell you. Even with the right tools, you'll still waste time if you don't do this next step. And that next step is creating a library of reusable prompts. Instead of starting from scratch every time you use AI, save prompts that you can tweak and reuse. You can do this in a simple Word document, a Google Doc, or even Notion. Here's a few basic examples of prompts you could save. Write a professional email response to a customer complaint. Generate ideas for Instagram captions for your product. Or summarize this meeting transcript into three action items. Start by saving even just three prompts that you've used successfully so far. This small step can save you hours over time and will remove the friction from you having to figure out what to ask AI every time. Here's how to make this even easier. 
integrate the prompts directly into your workflow. For example, if you're planning to add a task to your calendar that you plan to use AI to help with, like planning social media posts for the week, include the prompt right into the calendar details. This way, you're not wasting time trying to remember the prompt or figure out where you last put it or which document it's in. It's right there where you need it. And if you don't know where to start with creating your own prompts, don't worry, the free resource that I created for you has over 50 prompts to get you started. Now here's the reality. If you don't do this next step, then you'll never see real results. I've seen so many business owners get excited about AI only to give up because they miss this one critical piece. Stick around because this is where the magic happens. AI evolves quickly. So staying informed and experimenting regularly is key, but it doesn't have to take hours of your time. Here's the secret, combining learning and experimentation. This is how to build a simple routine that combines learning and experimentation. Spend five to 10 minutes a day learning. Follow trusted sources like the AI Exchange newsletter, the HubSpot AI blog, or even the Forbes AI section. They break down AI trends and tools into simple, actionable insights. And of course, there's lots of good content on YouTube as well. And when you hear or you read about a tool that sounds like something that might be able to help your business, just make a little note and keep a little list for yourself. The second thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is set aside 30 minutes a week to actually experiment with tools. Use this time to test how AI tools work with real tasks in your business, like drafting an email, analyzing customer feedback, or even brainstorming social media post ideas. This is the perfect time to test out the tools that you made your list of one by one and see which ones you like and see which ones you find most helpful. So go into your calendar right now and block off 30 minutes this week for experimentation and then spend five to 10 minutes a day learning. This small investment in time will pay off in hours that you save later. So if you're ready to take the next step, then download the free resource that I created for you, which you can find right in the description box. It includes the six tools that we talked about in this video, and it also includes 50 reusable prompts that you can start using right away for things like email writing, content creation, people management, and more. I'm excited for you to get started. If you're looking to scale your business and you want 2025 to be your best year yet, then watch this next video where I show you how AI can help you get there.